he's already launched 73 on the year, and he's hit 27, which is 37%. So if you're the Hawkeye defense, you have to find him. He's their best three-point shooter. Bounce back jam on the opposite side from Owen Freeman. Well, I mentioned Iowa's last game against Florida A&M was played in Des Moines, about 20, 20 minutes away from Sanford's hometown. It was kind of a homecoming for him. Meanwhile, a dunk at the opposite end for Mark Lorca Lloyd. And this UMBC team has somewhat played their pace. They've played their game, and they're disrupting the Hawkeyes down low now. A lot of teams use that against teams that fly up and down. You can use it to trap and speed it up, too. But there's another big time out of bounds. Block. Block. Couldn't hit there, but UMBC reloads. And a three calling glass. How about that from Frank Emu? He hit his first three of the game. Couldn't hit inside there. Numbers for Iowa. Perkins, nice finger roll and touch. Well, the reason that works so well is because Peyton Sanford. Lorca Lloyd from getting the basketball to keep this possession alive. Perkins pump fake. Whip it out. Cricky, open jumper. Third in the Big Ten. Big possession here for UMBC. Nice slithery drive and a pretty finish from Bryce Johnson. Dix checks in for Iowa. Meanwhile, Deion Brown and this UMBC offense try to rediscover the groove they had at the beginning of the game. Brown gets a much needed bucket, their leading scorer. Opportunity coming up for Ricky. Harding. Loader. Oh, he gets that to drop down. I was almost expecting another no with feet there, Jess. I was like, wait, where is he going to go next? I was extended this lead up to 19. Kadarius Smith in the open floor. Perkins opts not to contest that. Opening half. And ever since then, it's been really good on both ends of the floor, Just, including a lot of this. Steals leading the points at the opposite end. That's a, their second one of the game only. Yep, and then a dunk at the opposite end from Asante Bowen. He has been so fun to watch today. Harding, nice turn to the baseline. And the finish there from Freeman. Well, I'll tell you, his folks are going to say, look, if he can get more minutes, then he can get more points, right? He's sure been a spectacular player. Owen Freeman going forward, he's got to get those rebounding numbers up. Cricky as well, and they can start stringing some Big Ten wins together, but the class is going to be critical, and he's probably the X factor for this team. Can the freshman Owen Freeman, you know, that freshman year of mine, it just seemed like every other game there was a lottery pick that I had to go up against, and those older guys would just beat you up. Nice footwork on that post from Peyton Sanford. Yeah, and he's added that to his game as well. I mean, the weight room does matter. Peyton lived in the weight room over the offseason. It's fun to play with this group. It's not fun to play with guys who shoot all the time and don't make the extra pass. Bryce hit that last one off the feed from Peyton, and then at the opposite end. Looking like it's going to be back-to-back double-digit wins for Iowa. Harding up ahead to Perkins. That's assist number 10 for Harding and the jam for Perkins. And Harding not backing down. Second chance, shot clock didn't reset. Smith did well to see it and get the dunk. Perkins still looking around. Oh, another pretty pass from Harding. And one for Cricky. Get used to that exciting young Kings team. Yeah. McCaffrey able to finish. Patrick will go to the line. Make those difficult passes. <laughs> 12th assists and the jam on the opposite end. Third time this year with 100 points on the scoreboard. Perkins another steal. Tenth steal of the game for Iowa. And another dunk. But other than that, all around, it was really stellar today, Just from this Iowa Hawkeyes team. It really was. And right from the start, the extra pass, right? It became contagious. All the assists, the extra passes. These guys love to play together.